We're going to be looking at how to use the GIF continuum and Digiscan 3 to acquire EELS spectrum imaging data using the new continuous scanning mode and continuous drift correction. As you can see from the microscope user interface in Digital Micrograph, we have a fully loaded system. I'm going to acquire EELS data from this area of a 3D NAND specimen at 9,000 spectra per second using the Stellar camera. To switch on continuous drift correction, I just click on the drift button in the spectrum imaging palette and then select continuous in the next dialog that is shown. I'm happy with the drift correction region, so I just click the capture button in the spectrum imaging palette to start the experiment. The software makes an initial drift measurement. Once that is complete, it begins to capture the spectrum image data. I'm collecting 60 passes of data in this experiment. EELS data and the simultaneous ADF signal are being acquired at 9000 pixels per second. The drift correction is being performed after every pass. This is happening with no pause to the scan. So we're really getting our data here with zero dead time. 